I just got back from clinic. Today was a shorter day than usual, which I guess works out because I am stressed. We have our exam coming up and not a lot of time to study. Yeah, I'm just gonna get straight to it. I printed out the rest of my study guides. Here is all of it. And then I also have a couple of slides on oral path, evidence-based dentistry, behavioral health, and special care that I need to look over, but I really wanna prioritize like this material. I got my study juice. Let's just get straight to work, baby. <laughs> Wish me luck. That was actually a pretty productive study sesh, but I am going to take a quick workout break and today's workout is Pilates on the reformer and the class is called buns and guns pro tip for any students out there that are watching this i think one of the most important lessons that i've learned in this past year is to really prioritize exercise and fitness into my life and really finding a workout that you like and can stick to and it just does wonders for your physical emotional mental health so i had mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs that i I started going back to the gym but on the side I was also doing spin with my friends which I absolutely fell in love with it's so much fun so highly recommend if you haven't tried a cycling class before to grab a friend or just bring yourself and sign up for a spin class a lot of the classes that I've been going to nowadays I attend through class pass which I am questioning myself why I didn't start earlier because for a person like me, I really like to switch up my workouts and I like being in a class setting. So I've been doing hot yoga, spin, I did a bar class with my friends earlier this week, I have a dance class scheduled for this weekend, and then today I'm trying Pilates. So for me it just makes workouts really exciting because either I have someone to go with or I'm going to be in a class and if I get bored with one then I can switch over to the other and that really works out for me. So. Let's do this.
I've been really consistent with my gua sha in the past like couple of weeks and I feel like I've definitely noticed a difference but you know either way it feels really good it's actually close to 1 a.m. now I wish I had actual like content but I kid you not I've literally been studying all day for the past however many hours there were obviously some distractions in between but we have about a week left to study for this exam at this point so yeah I'm definitely really stressed I just thought that I would <laughs> film myself being stressed so that you can get a full image of what dental school is like but even then always take everything with a grain of salt because social media is like one percent of real life you know you can show the parts that you want to show hide the parts that you want to hide so i try to remind myself of that when i get too caught up in social media paying attention to other people's lives i actually deleted my personal instagram account about like three months ago and i feel like i've noticed such a huge difference in my headspace. I used to spend a lot of time kind of just like mindlessly scrolling or you know constantly being inundated with like other people's lives and updates and pretty pictures and you know everyone's highlight reel. I think for me not having Instagram I just feel like I have so much more time now to really devote to things that are more meaningful for me in terms of my self-care practices whether it's meditating or journaling or reading. I feel like for me it's really important to protect that peace and that like mental clarity so yeah just some food for thought i'm just gonna finish up my gua sha and then i'm gonna go to bed because i have an early workout class tomorrow so i need some sleep <laughs> good night hello there welcome to the chaos that is studying for a big final. As you can see, there's a lot going on here, but I just wanted to showcase my new whiteboard. I honestly don't know why I didn't do this earlier. My whiteboard has been sitting in a different area of my room, but it's like not practical unless I'm like standing, but um, I figured I could move it over here. So now, you know, when I want to test myself on different meds, I could just write it right here and continue my studying here, remembering all the drugs, etc, etc, etc. I've been studying for the past couple of hours, but I will probably take a quick cycling break. I wanted to show you. I got some new cycling shoes and I am so excited to wear these babies to class. That's about as exciting as my day gets these days. So yeah, see you later. I am back from clinic and very exciting news. I saw my first unofficial patient today. I was scheduled for screenings all afternoon so I was able to screen two patients and screenings are basically where we determine whether or not the patient is a good fit for our school. If their case is too complex we usually refer them over to our advanced care clinic or with our AEGD residents. But yeah super exciting. I think it's starting to feel a lot more real now that we're working with these patients as the student doctor. Yeah, I have screenings all day tomorrow and then I have my first restoration scheduled for next week and another patient later that day as well. So lots to prepare for but also a lot to be excited about. In the past couple of weeks I was definitely feeling pretty behind because in comparison to the rest of my classmates a lot of them have been working with patients for quite some time now but at the same time I've been on rotations so I'm not too stressed out about it and I know the patients will keep coming so I guess it's kind of nice this way because I've been able to ease into it and I'm still trying to get the hang of things but I'm definitely learning slowly but surely. <laughs> My classmates are all really friendly and willing to help so that goes a long way in clinic when I'm trying to figure out the flow of everything. Tomorrow I am scheduled for screenings all day. Hopefully I'll get to see a lot more patients tomorrow as well. As you can see here I have all of my GI diseases, meds, all the basic information that I need to know, but I will be studying for the rest of today with a quick Pilates break in between and all weekend as well before our exam which is on Monday. So probably by the time I get to uploading this vlog I will be 
a lot less stressed than I currently am. But I just wanted to say thank you all for your support and for all of your comments. I read every single one of them and people are so nice. So it really makes my day. I really appreciate it. So yeah, with that being said, I will see you in the next vlog. Ciao!